Dear friends and followers, welcome back to ZBTV. And uh, on the last episode of Trucking It, I was talking about Hurricane Laura and how drivers could avoid it. Go check that out if you're interested. But right now, on Talk Zach, I'm talking about something that's piqued my interest since childhood. The cassette tape. First, if you have not subscribed to my channel, either here on Insta here on YouTube or on Instagram, since I'm uploading to both uh, sites, I want you to subscribe. I would encourage you to do that. But let me talk about something that's been in my bag first. Now the this has been in my bag for a long time. And yes, I got the matching headphones to go with it. It's something that has never left my bag, except to replace models when I've either broke them, lost them, or had them discontinued by the manufacturer. And... Prior to this particular GPX unit that I have, or you may call it Grand Prix, that I've got now, the last one in my bag was a Sony TCM-16 Pressman. Prior to that, I had several, and that one was in my bag for over a decade. Prior to then, I had several Sony Walkman players, along with the likes of a certain cheap audio brand that rhymes with an air conditioner company named Lennox. I've had Realistic. I've had Panasonic. I've had Emerson. I've had uh, Sanyo. And that's just a few of the names of cassette players I've had in my bag over the years. And... The reason is because there are, well, for one, I had, in the case of both the Pressman and the modern GPX player recorder, I've had that for things like taping off the radio and also for listening to class loads. And, of course, nowadays there's the more modern digital recorders wherever I like that one. Like, like this little Olympus here. But uh, they just don't sound the same as an old school cassette. And I would, if you have access to a cassette player or recorder and a good quality pair of headphones, I would encourage you to go give it a listen and just hear the magic, the hiss, the wow and flutter, the the sound that people like me heard when we were growing up and appreciate it because while cassettes have become a niche format these days, they were very popular back in when I was growing up because, quite frankly, they were much more affordable than the emerging technologies of mini disc, compact disc, and later MP3 at that time. And a good old cassette also had some qualities that these other formats didn't have. Things like durability. A cassette like this could be dropped hundreds of times and still play because of the nature of magnetic tape. That's why a lot of the players that I listened to as a kid 
were things like the Sony Sports Walkman. These also tended to hold up in the car very well too, even when CD players would skip and when other devices just had all kinds of problems. That's why cassette players were so popular in cars anyway. And even nowadays, now I don't know of any new cars that offer a cassette player. However, they do offer an auxiliary input, which allows you to take the output from something like this and plug it into your stereo so that you can relive the memories that you had when you were a kid. Or when you were younger, or when you were in college. Or when you actually listened to music on tape. Tape is cool, man. But if you... Or, in, or woman. But uh, if you've never listened to one... Because you either grew up in a rich, classy household that had... Other formats available to you. Or if you've never listened to one because... You... Well, didn't have access to a cassette player. I would strongly encourage you to get one now. Listen to it. Appreciate the details of that hidden mode on the cassette boombox. That... Or... Get something like this and just take a listen to an old tape that you might have had back in your uh, back in your shoebox. And of course, the thing that I encourage nowadays is before you listen to that tape, get yourself a good pair of headphones. Like these Bose QC35s. So that you can hear every detail that you missed when you were a kid. As you relive the memory. So that you can hear the tape hiss. The well and flutter. And the hidden details. That the, even the dropouts if you had a cheap play, cheap tape at that time. And so you can enjoy what many people never got to enjoy when they were younger. So go find that, them old tapes. And if you don't, and go listen to them and enjoy them. And until next time, I'll catch you later, and happy listening. Bye for now. If you want more episodes like this, please hit the thumbs up to like this video, and also share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Thank you.